What's up, my battery bunch? Toy Insanity just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. Happy National Battery Day, February 18th. And going. Now listen. And going. And going. And going. And going. And going. I came here today prepared to show you my battery collection and talk about the different types of batteries, such as those you see here. Triple A, double A, C. Ow! C. D, 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 no double D, and uh, everybody's favorite, the 9 volt. Yes, there was once upon a time a regular A, and there was a B. But we gotta talk about, we, 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 we gotta talk about this first. Well, it's today years old, I found out. Energizer is not even America's top air in the batteries. It's Duracell. Uh, second of all, I was like, Yo, Jarvis, what is uh, what is the Duracell mascot? <laughs> it's a rabbit. And then I'm like, yo, how can that be? The Energizer bunny and the Duracell bunny can coexist. And why have I never still going and going and ah? Why have I never? Here, here's a picture of the Duracell bunny. I've never seen it before in my life. Okay, because everybody, everybody in America, let me tell you. Everybody grows up knowing the Energizer Bunny. This little pink bunny, he got batteries right there. Exposed battery, he keep going, he keeps going since 1989. Non-stop operation. Hang on, I, get, I gotta get my D. Ah, ah. Ah, nothing but straight D insanity. Listen, Duracell Bunny. Here's what the court decision has come to apparently. In Europe, or outside the U.S., let's put it this way. <sighs> you let me know. Comments below. That's what they're there for. I want to be edumacated. Are you seeing that Duracell bunny on the packaging? Because the, the court decision, first of all, first of all, Duracell's the biggest company. Uh, second of all, they both got bunnies. Third of all, Duracell had the bunny first. 1973 versus 1989. But somehow, the court decision was, in the U.S., only Energizer can use the bunny on their packaging and advertising. But beyond the U.S., apparently you're seeing the Duracell bunny on your battery packs. Sorry for the wind. Okay, the battery, as, as we know it, was invented in 1800, 1800. It didn't have any practical use. Oh, it was invented by, let's, let's throw out this name, the Italian, Alessandro Volta. Okay, that's where we get the name Volta, etc. The first practical battery was 1836 by the Brit, John Stringfellow. What a cool name that is. Energizer got their start in 1896. Uh, but, you know, they had a different name than, than, than they were ever ready. They changed their name to Energizer in 1980. This guy comes along, 1989. Okay. Did I get the chase? I probably didn't get the chase. Funko soda. But I'm happy. Re refreshingly fun. There's no actual soda, but once you know it, I got the I get the pop and the soda fig. Oh, those are cute. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I doubt we'll ever see a pop. Oh yeah, you get a little coin. Fifteen thousand made. That's relatively high in my observation because a lot of these a lot of these soda figs is only. 5,000 each, but they anticipate a lot of people would want the EGB, EGB Insanity, those are, oh, those are great together. I wish, on these stupid soda figs, I wish they'd articulate the neck at least, so they could be facing each other, and you could read, you could read the drum phrase. All right, what do I got here? They, well, whatever. Name brand, okay, I spent all my money on, on toys and figures, so I don't get name brand and most of my battery consumption. But yeah, they, I got an I got an Energizer Triple A. I got a generic Double A. I got a Rayovac C in my collection. I got a Dollar Tree D, and I got an Energizer Nine Volt. 
Oh, it just expired. It just expired. Uh, you're not supposed to put this on your tongue. Ah! That ain't expired. Okay, listen up. Don't try this at home. And tell me, if you're out there in the field, out there in the world, consuming, consume, consume. You're making purchases there. Putting your flashlights in your toys. And, uh, let me see. Let me know if you're seeing a Duracell bunny on packages. All right. I also found out today. Okay, these are button cell batteries that you put in toys and such. Uh, LR44 is the most common, but I don't have an LR44 currently. I do have an LR41 and LR60. I just found out this means, the L means lithium, the R means round, and then the, the last, the number itself is just a size. So, uh, yeah, these are for like watches and calculators and the medical equipment and car keys. These tend to be in toys where they don't want you to replace the battery. And then LR, LR41s usually get glued in. Or the, you know, the plastic toy gets glued to where you cannot re LR44s is when they give you the screw and you can replace them in your toys and such. Toy insanity. Ah! Hope everyone likes pancakes. What are you even doing, man? You broke the f mm! Okay, okay. Happy battery day, Feb. 18. Finally did it. Finally got the video done. Finally done did it. EGB times two. See ya on the other side. Because this channel keeps going and going and going and going and going. Toy Insanity TV.